Today I want to share how to create a simple preset in Arturias Pigments software synthesizer from scratch. The following preset is inspired by a patch for my analog desktop synthesizer Amog Werkstatt and the preset name is called Smoothbase which I recorded from the Werkstatt on a previous day and I'll put a link below. So let's start with a fresh setup and we switch the synthesizer engine one to analog synthesis. We can disable the utility engine and then we set the oscillator to a pulse width and see what it sounds like. Okay, essentially a basic pulse width. Then we want to use an LFO. Then we want to use an LFO to modulate the currently static pulse width modulation. So we click on LFO1 and we turn the knob that we want to change, which is the width here. And I'll go, I think we can go all the way. Okay, that's an interesting effect. I think in the lower half of the wave, there's actually nothing that's happening here. So uh, let's set this to unipolar. And then on the original patch, we actually have a triangle, si triangle waveform for the LFO. And let's increase the speed of the LFO. And then furthermore for the filter, we set the filter up to use the mini filter. The mini filter is inspired by the mini Moog from Moog. So I'm hoping for the 24 dB low pass filter. What does it sound like right now? And then the filter, we increase the resonance a little bit. And also we want to modulate the filter, actually, the cutoff frequency by the BCA envelope. So we get the envelope section here. We keep sustain cranked up. We increase the decay. Actually, I think what we want is an increased release here. And we keep the attack pretty short. Okay, that sounds good. Now we see on our miniscope the VCA and we can use that to modulate our cutoff frequency here. All right, 
that sounds pretty good already to me. Now, what the analog engine also does by default here is to actually have a unison mode and to detune the oscillator slightly. That gives it a little bit of, an, of a warmer analog flare. We can increase the voices. Which gives it which makes it much richer in the stereo field also. But the original patch didn't didn't have that, so let's just stick with one. And here we are with our first preset that resembles an, a simple analog synthesizer. And we have really been using only a fraction of the features that Pigments offers us. All the modulation sources are pretty much empty. And we've just been using one sound source, one sound engine, and only one oscillator of that. So, as you can imagine, we could do a ton more, but even, even with these simple setups, we can create a very nice, rich bass sound. Alright, sounds good. Let's save the preset. I hope this was informative. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see more videos like that in terms of sound design and preset creation. Also let me know if you don't want to see anything like that anymore. And feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any follow-ups. Thank you.